Well, good morning, Mod and Pop Thrift. This is Tom. I'm a stay-at-home dad for five kids and a full-time eBay reseller. Uh, we got a handful of things that sold again today. Let's uh, take a look at them. Three shirts. This one's kind of a brand new Bob Ross shirt. I think it's like 2019. Um, anyway, it didn't sell for much. Sold for $7.99 plus shipping. I paid 50 cents for it and I just had it listed like two weeks. I paid, I got it a long time ago and kind of got buried in a pile. Uh, this one is a single stitch um, real tree shirt. You can see it's single stitch here in the pocket. Um, and it's sold for $22.99. I do fairly well with older camo shirts. This one is nothing special at all. It's an XL, the only thing, it's an XL men's shirt but then it's pink. Not that it was completely unheard of for a men's shirt to be pink in the 90s, but it was, was not commonplace. Like it wouldn't be anything now to go any to any department store and see pink clothes in the men's department, but it really wasn't something that was super prevalent. And so you don't find a lot of men's clothes in that colorway. And that's not to say that that adds a lot of value, but that's actually, that's why I picked this up because finding a single stitch pink men's shirt is unusual. Um, it sold for $10 free shipping, and that was on an offer. I'd had it listed for like $14.99 free shipping for a long time, like six months. Uh, these books sold for $7.99 free shipping. I'm gonna do those media mail. Both of these sold with media mail shipping. Neither of them will receive media mail shipping. Uh, they're both going to go priority. This, I know I put up the comp yesterday that showed some solds of this as high as like $150. Um, but when I got realistic with it, I I ended up listing mine at the bottom of the market, which seemed to be $44. And it sold immediately. It sold for like, it sold in like two hours. Um, and that probably, I mean, that's, that's not advisable, I wouldn't think. I wouldn't say, but it is. I did it. I, I did it on purpose. I could have listed this at a hundred dollars and let it set for six months, or I could get all of my money back for the entire uh, cost of goods at that estate sale in the same day. So it, it maybe it's not the strategy that everybody would take, uh, but. I would rather quick flip it at the bottom of the market, but a dollar into $45, than list it for 75 and wonder whether it's ever gonna sell. And as much as there were sold comps over $100, I tend to disbelieve that stuff. There's also sold comps for Disney VHS um, more, that are crazy high. Um, and I don't normally, I didn't do as much research on this video. Like I tell you guys it's seven o'clock in the morning on Thursday. And then I listed the video at like one on Thursday. So I just grabbed the comps, put them on there. And then when I was doing research, I was like, that's probably too high. And I don't, I try not to do that on, on a regular basis. But yesterday that this one in particular sold way like the comps were way lower than I found solds for. Um, sorry about that. This, I I picked up last week, listed it for $31.99. Free shipping, and it, it took a week or so to sell. Nirvana cassette tapes are really, really good. And this I bought from a guy for like 15 bucks for a whole box of world's fair stuff and i've sold it, a lot of it and made my profit back i imagine this is designed to be like a dustpan but it's obviously decorative i think it's probably just a shelf piece um 1933 world's fair chicago and it's a cool thing sold for 6.99 plus shipping so the shipping will be pretty easy today like I said, those two things that were media and more than $30 a piece, I'm going to ship in a priority flat rate because they'll go easily 
and it doesn't make any sense to spend two dollars and forty cents and have it show up in three weeks and be um, not insured when for like four dollars more I can get the insurance and a time guarantee even though UPS is a joke uh, USPS is a joke with their time guarantees anymore but I would rather just I just feel like media mail is to bring the price down on stuff that isn't really worth much and if these are worth 30 and 45 dollars to somebody then it's worth my time to send priority anyway so i was showing you guys the other day a resealed uh cd this is an original seal vhs tape and nintendo games would be the exact same so i'll show you how to tell well this isn't necessarily true of video games see that mca universal on there that is on the plastic and wouldn't be on reseal plastic so that tells you that it's an original seal but also see how it's there's a line across the top that is heat heat shrink plastic and a line across the bottom that's heat shrink plastic and then the seam is here and you can see it's like an inch wide where it starts right there by Doc's hand and ends right here by the beginning of this picture. And so that is called an H seam. A line and a line and a line in between them. It's called an H seam. And that is indicative of an original seal for a VHS tape and most Nintendo games. Um, now you can see on this one that it has printing and a lot of universal and a lot of actual, uh, actually a lot of VHS tapes have some type of print to say what studio put it out to help identify the original packaging to know that it hasn't been broken. Um, just something to keep in mind when you're buying vintage media and you think you have something sealed, there are telltale signs to tell you whether or not it's a legit seal. Okay, this is the next day and we're going to some yard sales. Suitcases. No, there's like stuff flying around. Oh. Nats? Yeah. Sorry, didn't even put my coffee in your way. Hats. Levi's finding hats. Are you recording? Yep. Yankees hat for a dollar new. No. Yellow jackets, but no particular yellow jackets. It's a nice Jets hat. Unfortunately, it's Jets. They don't. Illinois, Illinois. Just Atlanta. Just the city yeah. of Atlanta. And is that Manual Rams? That... Hold yes. on a second. Manual Rams? Yeah, that's Manual Rams. You want these? No. You take the bag two for two fifty, like the white. It'd be twenty three fifty right now. That is cool. Let's hang it back up, bud. Okay. I found it right here. Yeah. Good job. Putting it back where you found it. Can I get oh, this is nice. Mom, can I get this one? Hey, that one. Oh, is that like a Judah yeah. shirt? Yeah. yeah. Jeez. E He's big. Yeah, yeah. That's lovely. I like this. Oh, good so look. Let me know if I find something I like. Beast mode. What about that zombie hoodie? Heavy, don't pull stuff. Levi's right here with me. Oh, yeah. this is a pajama sweater. A pajama sweater? Yeah. Can I, can we get it? I don't know if this is a blue or a black shirt. Black. Oh, if it's. 
What about this? These are for sure. I don't need it. Is it big? Is it too big for you? I don't think so, but it's long sleeve. Ooh, Funko, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, and he's dirty. So how about those Air Maxes for a dollar? Those were good. Um, nothing else super exciting. Youth Jordans and some Air Force Ones over three dollars. And two hats and a bop it. Oh uh, yeah, but that's like, that would be like $400 new. Mom could use that for her classroom. our size? Golf clubs that are your size. Yeah, we don't $20 for the set. I don't think we, I don't think we need that. Stop it. No thing. Evie, put it down. For five dollars, I don't think they're worth it. But. They're not. Like if they were older, they might be worth five bucks. And they're cool, but they're not. Bad Thirty dollars. He's my new job. <laughs> he is my job. Full time, believe me. That's a good one. Oh, pretty good. How are you guys? It is good to see you guys. there for some children. Oh, they did. We got a little one in here that has them. What did we get that was going to have the shadow? Well, I got the brackets that are. Oh, we don't have a shadow. You got the frizzy so this was a same sale that I got some San Marcos Christmas blankets for five bucks a piece. Uh, still haven't sold those. And it looked like they had some new stuff out, but it was mostly just the same old stuff. And it was overpriced still. So I don't think I bought anything. I believe I bought a cup. So we're out on Saturday and it feels like a lot of these sales happened yesterday too. We're just kind of having a family day, trying to find some yard sales. And this is a super stupid busy intersection. Look at all these bright orange shirts. Where's Aunt Sue? If you took it out of there, you could spend it. How much is it? That's a quarter. Oh. That's weird looking for a quarter. Don't look like my quarter. Yeah. Yeah, I found all those Vietnam nice books stacked up on top of each other. I don't think we need them.
Do you know what you had on that little Halloween house? Huh? Everything is a dollar, I think, on that table. Okay. Oh, everything on this table is a dollar. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Just ten bucks by the camcorder? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I wondered. <laughs> I, I know. So I got this camcorder for 10 bucks and met a really neat dude who loves YouTube and used to be an auctioneer. Nice to meet you if you're watching. Um, thanks for the deal on the video camera. We're gonna go see if we can. It was a Sony Handycam and I suspect it's worth a good deal more than I paid for it. Um, we're gonna go see if we can have, find some more sales. Hickory handles anymore. And uh, did you see the ones out there that are uh, marked? I, 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 I did not. Well, this is the more running company should have Ah. They may go. And your Pachinko still has the box. It's not Pachinko, it's, it's, that's a, uh, so I got those hickory handled golf clubs at that sale. Um, and the guy had a bunch of cool stuff, but most of it was crazy overpriced. Um, yeah, and I think now we're going to hit Goodwill and then we will, um, head back towards the house on a different street and see if we can find some more yard sales. Not having yard sale treasure map and not being good at finding things on Facebook Marketplace uh, makes it very difficult to not just drive around in circles to find yard sales, which is kind of what we've been doing. But we, we've had some luck. Are you guys having fun? Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Say hi, Evie. Hi. Say, yeah, you, ma. There is my beautiful wife. What's up? 
So we're yes. looking at children's Daddy. books, and there's one Goosebumps, and the rest of these are all boxcar children. And they're not in great shape, but they're 50 cents a piece, and in a big lot like that, I can add them to the few that I already have. Ooh, Beauty and the Beast. Dad, we don't have... A game for $1.78. Dad, look at this milk thing. It's it's discs. It's discs. Can we get it? No, guys, I can't get you to clean up the Nerf guns you already have, or anything else for that matter. This is just does not work. So, nothing exciting in Goodwill. We've got 22 boxcar children's books and one Janet Ivanovich, uh, all 50 cents a piece. And then Desiree pulled a single stitch screen starts tag that has a really weird logo on it that I don't recognize. That's probably some local print shop kind of thing, but we'll figure out what it is and it probably won't make a lot of difference to the price of the shirt. So I don't do a lot of garage sale footage and I feel like this didn't come out super well. So I'm gonna go over what I got with you real quick um, just to give you a better idea of what how productive our day was. This shirt was $2.48 at Goodwill. It wa It's not fantastic, but it's that kind of bread and butter shirt, screen black screen stars tag, um, and this is the emblem. I don't know what it is. I Google lensed it, and all kinds of similar things came up. Sorry, we're in the dark. This is a shirt tails um, board game. Comps are like fifteen bucks. I didn't check it to see if it's complete, but it was a dollar. Let's move into the light a little bit. This is a pair of Jordans, kit Youth Four. I normally get about twenty dollars out of Youth Jordans, and these are in pretty good shape. They were $3, and I bet they'll flip quick. These were $1 uh, Nike Air. These are from 2001, so that's that's why I even bothered to pick them up. They were at the same garage sale as this $1 book, so I paid $2 for both of those things. I think I'll get my investment back pretty quickly on that. Yankees hat was obviously $1, and it, uh, appears in all ways to be new. Um, this little thing, I think comps at like $12, $15, and it was on the dollar table, you saw that. This was on the next table over, and I did not notice that it had, supposed to have something up here, but it's broken when I picked it up. But what caught my eye was Jim Shore, and Jim Shore stuff is pricey. So this thing, I offered her $10 on this and this, and I feel like she would have taken a whole lot less. But the last time this thing sold, it sold for $160, but it was new in the box. With that broken off and no box, but it's a music box and it still works. This is like the crank for the music box. I'm gonna guess I can get 40 or 50 bucks out of it. This is a bop it. I always pick up bop it's as long as they're not like three or four dollars. This will sell for 20 bucks. Um, I need to test it. It doesn't come on, which means it's much more likely to, now that's how you test a bop it. It doesn't come on. So it means it's much more likely to have corrosion in the hole, but I've only ever bought one of those that didn't work perfectly fine. Boxcar Children, we ended up with 22 Boxcar Children books. They're gonna be about about a 35 or $40 uh, thing. And then Hot Six from my Janet Ivanovich collection. This box is fantastic. It is, and I'll have to get this masking tape off of here, but the story goes, I was picking up a bunch of stuff, the shirt tails game, some VHS tapes you'll see here in a minute. Um, and the guy had this box full of trinkets to give to kids whose parents don't want them to take the crap. I was like, could I talk you out of that box? And he's like, yeah, take it. I, you know, I'll find something else to put this stuff in. And I said that, you know, that box, I know a lot of people who collect shoes. That box is definitely old. It turns out it's probably early eighties um, and it has the world map on the lid. So um, this is a pretty desirable box, even though it's for some not super desirable lady shoes. 
um, just having that sitting on a shelf somewhere as a sneaker head. That's a cool box. And it's in pretty good condition. It's got one corner that's ripped out on the lid, but other than that, it's pretty nice. And uh, I think it's probably a $25 box. So don't just look at the stuff that is for sale. Look at the stuff that's not for sale. This was the other half of the $10 from the Jim Shore um, Halloween thing. This one uh, I think will sell for probably $20 plus shipping. There are people asking as high as $35 and $40 plus shipping, and maybe they'll get that closer to Halloween, but I'm not going to sit on this thing that long. I'm going to price it for $20 and get it gone. These were a real score today. So now there's just one, but Air Max um, size, men's size 10. They're a little dirty, but uh, they don't have much wear on them. 2016, I bet they sell for $40, maybe 35 plus shipping or 40 free shipping, something like that. That's a real nice pair of shoes. I'm excited about those. Uh, this one is sealed, Strange Brew. I haven't comped it yet. Uh, these two I'll probably get, I paid 50 cents a piece for these. I'll probably get 10 bucks for those two. This probably won't be for sale, but I'll put a comp up and see. Maybe I'll sell it if it's worth more than like 10 or $12 shipped. Uh, and then these are just some white on white on white. Nikes are 2016. Men's size nine, 2016 shoes so those were a pretty good pickup too with the nike box i picked up these two records david ruffin is uh if you don't know a very influential member of the temptations not an original member but definitely a uh, a huge powerhouse amongst temptations um and i this won't be for sale i love david ruffin and then this one used to be a big deal album when I collected albums 15 years ago but the comps seem to be significantly lower so we'll see what happens with that what I didn't realize about these golf clubs when I picked them up is that these three are a set eight five and two and they're all this Gene Sargent um, but they're all the same same shaft same handle same club head different numbers so that's those three all lot together and these sell for between $30 and $40 a piece. So what I'll probably do is ask $100 shipped for them. And then this one's like $35 shipped for this Hickory Handle Golf Club. Oh, I don't know how well you can see the bend in the number two. A bend in a number two. There's a joke to be had there, but I won't sink you to that level. Um, but really, a lot of people are just displaying Hickory Handle Golf Clubs. So a slight bend. It would make it so you wouldn't want to play with it, but I don't think it's going to make a lot of difference on the resale value for somebody who's just putting together a display. And then what will probably end up being the creme de la creme de la sole is this Sony Handycam CD, CCD TRV22. It's a super nice. Sony Handycams are super hot for whatever reason. I don't understand why anybody would want one, but they... Uh, I paid 10 bucks on the assumption that it was worth something. I didn't comp it. Uh, it has this thing, this little accessory, which is neat. It allows you to put six AA batteries in it and power your camera, even if you don't have a charge. And then it has all the pamphlets and stuff. I comped this bag and it's really not worth much, but I suspect if I put the camera in the bag with all the accessories, I'll get somewhere in the neighborhood of $100 shipped for it. So, Pretty successful yard sale day. Um, and we I only sold four items that you guys will see tomorrow. So it really wasn't a strong sales day, but tomorrow's the 4th of July. So probably people are just doing other stuff. Um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.